Uh, and actually, I quite, I'd, I'd say luckily as well. <laughs> uh, turmoil at Heathrow. Um, a big shout out, by the way, I've got to say to all the folks who are working at Heathrow. Um, everybody involved in the logistics, everything from the moment you walk through those doors to the moment that you get out and into the aircraft. All of those checking crews, all the baggage handlers, all the people in security, working tirelessly long days. Uh, thank you to all of those folks um, who, are, who are keeping everything moving at London Heathrow. Although I have to say, um, it's, it's not looking good at the moment, I've got to say. It's the first time that I've gone into Heathrow Terminal 2 and the queues have been snaking just to get through security alone. Uh, before you even get into security, the, the queues are snaking in the check-in hall, can you believe it? Um, hopefully it'll get better, hopefully um, we'll get um, uh, more people on the books and be able to uh, bring a bit of calm and tranquility to London Heathrow. Good luck with that. Um, anyway, here we are, ILA Berlin, ILA as they, as they call it. Um, now I've just been up to the press office um, and um, interestingly enough, I am being told, excuse me, I'm being told that uh, apparently uh, tomorrow we have one, two, three, four, five displays. Um, not that much, no, I know, uh, A400M, which is over there. I think there's actually two A400s here. Um, I know the uh, Globemaster has a very similar sort of like uh, tail, does it not? Um, but uh, looks like US Air Force there in the distance. Um, Apache, there's an Apache helicopter here. Uh, we've got the C295, which is a Spanish manufacturer, I believe. Um, and uh, behind us here, just tucked underneath uh, the Airbus 350 Aerospace Explorer. This is their A350-900 test jet family aircraft. Uh, we've got the Beluga XL. We're going to be having a close look at her tomorrow and going inside. Uh, as well as that, AWACS is right off down in the distance there. We'll go and have a look at that. Um, last time we were here, the 747 was here with Lufthansa. I'm not sure if they may be bringing her in tomorrow um, because all the, uh, all the uh, corporate stuff has been closed down over there now. Uh, so it's all about um, the, 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 um, the, uh, the viewing day for the public. Uh, Emirates have brought their A350, uh, as would be expected. We'll go and have a look around her as well. And go and have a look on the, did I say 350? Did I say 350? Oh, sorry. Apologies. Emirates have brought their A380, as they always do at something like this. Um, and, uh, I mean, they've got enough to spare, haven't they? Um, but we will go on top on the top deck of that 380 tomorrow, if they let us in. They were a little bit sort of like, you know, funny about it last time. But I'm pretty sure that we'll be we will be able to arrange something. That's why tomorrow morning... I need a little bit of time here to come in and uh, set up uh, interviews uh, or, or walk arounds with these folks. I want to go on board the Airbus because uh, I want to see what's on, on board the aircraft because it's a test aircraft. Um, it's more than likely got all test equipment inside there. Again, it might be something that's a little bit sensitive. The Beluga XL, I'm pretty sure that we're going to be able to get on board her and have a good look around. Uh, some of the other US Air Force and the German Luftwaffe stuff um, very keen to have a look on board there. There's a Hercules uh, with the Luftwaffe um, just uh, beyond the A400M and uh, other helicopters. I hear they've got a tank here or something. Is that right, Julie? Did you say they've got a tank here or something? Um, sustainable aviation fuel um, powered, well, not so much powered, but fueled uh, helicopter. Looks like a Sea King uh, just out in the back there. We'll go and have a look at that. And funny enough, the um, the, the reg is D-H-A-F-T, daft. Um, but anyway, and there's another one here which is, looks like, to me, like an ATR, which is 100% uh, sustainable aviation fuel, which is good to see. Uh, some small stuff here. Um, we've got an F-35 Lightning over there, albeit fiberglass. It's a good model, and we'll be able to have a very close look around her. Um, but other than that, folks... Um, it's a little bit of a, of, 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 of a shame, to be honest with you, that we're going to be, we've come all the way here for five, uh, for five aircraft displays, although we will be filming the displays on Sunday as well. So the plan is that uh, I've got the times here 
on the old blower. Um, and uh, tomorrow we've got the Eurofighter between 11.30 and 11.45. Um, the A400M is flying at 12.40, 12.55. The Chinook, we all love the Chinook. Hopefully he'll be, do that one along the crowd line. Um, he's gonna be flying at about two o'clock. Um, the Luft Parade, now I believe that that's probably the fly pass, 1420 to 1425. So that will be all of the Luftwaffe um, aircraft uh, in, their, in their arsenal. We'll see them flying past here. An amazing fly pass, you don't want to miss that one. And then again at 420 in the afternoon is the Eurofighter once again. So two uh, of the Eurofighter displays. And then on Sunday, we've got at 10.30 to be confirmed, not sure. I'm hoping it's going to be her because they flew her here last night. I mean, it is an amazing display to see that. Eurofighter goes up at 11.30 on Sunday. A400M again at 12.40. That's a good display, the A400. Uh, Eurofighter 16.05 and the Luft Parade is going to close it off at 4.20 on Sunday. Um, so we, we've got enough to bring you and uh, also a good amount of sort of like walk around stuff tomorrow. Um, between displays as well. I'm gonna I'm gonna handheld it, and then on Sunday I'm gonna I'm gonna do it off the sticks from the uh, from the press platform. Uh, but other than that, we're done. I think um, we are right next to, by the way, Berlin Airport. So that's why you've got uh, commercial jets like this little Eurowings 319, I think, going out. Um, so yes, we will see you tomorrow. I reckon we'll probably be live around about 10.30 tomorrow morning. Uh, that's local time, 9.30 UK, and uh, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. So uh, join me then. Thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll see you. Um, we'll see you tomorrow morning. Take care, cheers, bye-bye. Everything okay, GP? Is that all right? Slight delay. Yeah, you can cut, you can cut.